Welcome to Chartmill. This is part three of the Chartmill Academy series where we teach you how to use Chartmill in the fastest and most efficient way. In the previous video, you've learned how to create and save your own screening filters. In this one, it's time to save these results of those screens into personal watch lists in order to further analyze them individually and determine whether or not there is a potential trade setup. My name is Christoph. Welcome to Chartmill. We are currently on the homepage where I select the stock screener section. I have a number of personal screens that I check on a regular base to see if there are any good potential setups among them. One of my favorite screen filters in a bullish market is this one, called price above 52 week high on high volume. So let me first explain the filters I used for this screen. As basic filters I only retain US stocks with a minimum price starting at $10 and a minimum volume of 300,000 shares traded daily. ETFs are excluded for this filter. The new 52 week high filter is set via the performance menu where I select the appropriate signal. The indicators menu is then used to specify the volume filter. The volume on the last trading day must be 50% higher than the volume on the previous trading day. And depending on the number of remaining candidates I may further tighten this volume filter even to 100%. As you can see this is a fairly simple and purely technical screen based on price, momentum and volume. If desired you can easily expand the screen with other additional technical or fundamental filters. Next step is to select the stocks you consider worthwhile. I go through the initial results on the screen fairly quickly and everything that looks more or less reasonable and worth watching individually will be moved to a separate watch list. Vermilion Energy and Standard Lithium for example both of these stocks have just broken out above their highest annual price with decent volume. To move these stocks to a watchlist, click on the plus sign in the chart and add them to an already existing watchlist, or you can create a new watchlist. As you can see, I use three different swing trading watchlists myself pre setups, setups, and open positions. And all the stocks that pass this first selection are moved to my pre setups watchlist. After the initial selection, it's time to look at them in a little more detail. I then open the pre-setups watchlist in which I have just placed all the stocks that survived my first manual selection. So I select the stocks charts page and I open my swing trading pre-setups watchlist. At this point, I start my further analysis to determine whether or not the setup is worthwhile. A very useful feature when researching these stocks is the ability to open your entire watchlist in the analyzer tool. To do this, select the Analyzer page and click on the tab Analyze your stocks. On the next page, open your watchlist, in this case I select my pre-setups watchlist. In the upper left corner, you'll see all the tickers that are part of that watchlist. For each stock, you'll get a technical analysis, a fundamental analysis, if available, but also the summary profile, a simplified chart and the analyst ratings. If needed, you can open the chart tool or consult the complete profile of each stock. This can be useful as it allows you to access information that you might consider important but did not initially screen for. After all, in this example, we have only retained some technical filters. By opening your entire watchlist in the analysis tool, you can still check some fundamental figures, for example, of all these companies. All this information can be helpful to determine whether or not you wish to effectively keep the stock as a setup. The best setups eventually end up in my actual setups watchlist, in which I then determine the entry, stop loss, position sizing and so on. It would take us too far to explain this process in this video as well. But in the next video I will explain a bit more about how I do my analysis and how I determine my risk and trade management using Chartmill. Finally, the setups which have been triggered and thus become part of my portfolio are kept in the open positions watchlist. This gives me a direct overview of all my swing trading positions. After the market has closed, I open this watchlist and see if any adjustments are necessary for one of the stocks in my portfolio. An overview of all your watchlist can be found under your account. Click on your username in the top right corner and then on My Account. On the next page, click the tab Watchlists from where you can manage them. You can open your watchlist individually, delete them or even change the name. After selecting one of your watchlists, it's possible to delete one or more stocks from that specific list. 
I'll just open my swing trading open watch list for now to show you another feature that you might not know yet. For each of these stocks you can receive an alert. I use these to be alerted when the company's quarterly results are going to be announced. This is very easy to set up by clicking on the bell icon in the chart. In the drop down menu select earnings alert after which you can choose to be alerted one day, two days or even a week in advance. I always choose two days, that way I have enough time to decide what to do with my open position in that specific company. Just make sure you have push notifications turned on. To do this, go to your account again. Make sure that you have selected the option push notifications in the notifications menu. Via the button manage alerts you can get an overview of all your current alerts which you can delete here if they are no longer needed. As you can see there are many other alerts that you can set. Be sure to check them all out. I'm just going to show you the price alert, which you can use if the price goes above or below your specific price level. This is useful if you have a list of stocks in a narrow trading range, for example, which are about to break out. Whenever an actual breakout occurs, you will be notified via an alert. In the chart of each stock, you can also directly consult the complete profile of the company. To do so, click on the arrow icon in the chart. This brings us to the end of part 3 in this video series. In the next video I will demonstrate a complete chart move workflow which will cover screening, selection, analysis, determining entry level and stop loss and also risk percentage and position sizing will be covered. So if you want to be notified of future videos be sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Finally please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Trade safe.